Hey guys, welcome to our channel. In today's video, I am going to show you how to remove the header in WordPress in three different ways. The first way is by changing the page template. The second way is through the settings of the team you are using. And the third way is by using CSS and that will work with every team. Plugins for WP. WordPress premium plugins and themes for an affordable price. So let's start with the first way uh, by using the page template. So we have this sample page over here and we would like to hide this header. So we will go into the edit screen of this particular page. And here under the page attributes, we'll change the page template from the default or whatever it is right now to a canvas or landing page or empty. You should have an option similar to the one I just mentioned that will remove the header and the footer of uh, the team. So this is Team dependence obviously depends on the team you are using, but most of the teams today will have this option. So after you change it, just click on update and the header will be removed. The second way is by using the team settings options. Of course, this is also team related. Not all the teams will have it, but the most popular teams such as Astra, OceanWP, and DV will have uh, those options 100% for sure. So just click edit page of the page that you would like to uh, modify and here scroll to the bottom and we are using Astra team with this particular example and we can see that here we can check this box in order to hide the header after we did so just update the page revisit it and that will remove the header in your WordPress website and the last method that I would like to show you is by using CSS and I really like this way because it will work with every team uh, out there. It doesn't really matter which team you are using, this one will work with any of them. So first we will need to know to which class we need to apply the CSS rules. So we will inspect the header of our website and here we look for the header tag or a div division with a class of a header and here we can find in the console that we have the header tag and the class of this header is site-header. So let's just copy it for now, we will use it uh, shortly. Then move on to the customization screen and into the additional CSS option. Here we will need to enter our CSS rule. We will add a dot to the class name because that's how we target classes. So it's dot site dash header, open brackets, and then we'll uh, type in display none. Immediately we can see on the right side that this CSS removed the header. If you don't want to make any mistakes, you can definitely go to the written blog post. You have the link in the description down below. Just scroll down and you can copy the exact CSS rule that you need over here. Just make sure to change the site dash header with the actual class of your header. Most of the time it will be that class, but just double check it uh, while inspecting your element. After refreshing the page, we can see that the header is no longer be displayed on the page, which is great. That's exactly what we wanted. But that's created a different issue for us because when we will visit our home page or any other page, the header won't be displayed over there too. If you want to hide it for the entire website, great, just keep it the way it is. However, if you only want to hide it for specific pages of your website, go back to your desired page and launch the developer console once again. And here we'll go up the DOM into the body tag and here we can see that this page specifically have a unique ID inside the body class. It's called page-id-the ID number. So we will copy that and paste it to the left of the header class in the additional CSS tab. Again, you can get this code from the written blog post. Scroll down, you will have it here. Just make sure to change the ID number with the actual ID of your page. Before wrapping things up, I would like to show you how to get any premium WordPress plugin or theme for 97% of the original price. Just go to pluginsforwp.com and click on the download free in order to download our free plugin manager that we developed. After you download it, go back to your WordPress website into plugins, add new, upload plugin, and over here choose and upload the plugin that you just downloaded from us. Click install and then activate the plugin. Then go to the new plugins for WP tab that was added to your WordPress sidebar. Browse between the thousands plugins and themes that we are offering. If you are looking for a specific one, type it over here and the results will appear in front of you. Browse the search results and find the item that you were looking for. When you found it, just click on purchase. You will be redirected to our cart 
or you can purchase this plugin for only $4.99 which is 97% off the original price. If you are looking to get multiple items, consider getting one of our unlimited downloads plans and enjoy unlimited downloads for only $12.97 a month or $87 a year. Thanks again guys for watching our video. If you have any questions, please let us know in the comment box down below or in the written blog post because we will respond way faster that way. Please also like the video, share it with your friends and subscribe to our channel because there are more great videos on the way.